I'm late. I'm late. I'm also very late. I've got heads to collect, everyone. And every single name online right now, I don't have the head for. Oh, it's a good day. What a day to be a hermit. All I've got to do is grab some of my PvP things. Here we go. Now, I've already attempted false symmetry, so I think I'll start off today with uh, good times with Scar. Oh, this is going to be such a good time. Hello, by the way, everyone. Welcome to Hermitcraft. I'm glad to be back. So glad, in fact. <laughs> now, everyone, we're going to take a little trip to Disney. <laughs> I think Scar's base should be just over here. It should be obvious when we hit it. Yeah, whoa. This is so cool. No way. Whoa. Ow. Scar! Scar? No! Scar! No! no. Hello? Hey! Jem, I have terrible news. What's the terrible news? <sighs> My hot guy bow can't be repaired. It's too expensive. It's too powerful. Oh, I'm just trying to repair no. it in the anvil. <laughs> this is horrible news indeed. Oh, do you want to see something funny? Yeah, 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 <laughs> look, yeah, yeah. At this. look at this. Look at this. Look at this little guy over here. <laughs> Wait. He's just hanging out on a chicken. <laughs> you should put him in a ride or something. He's cool. Oh, he's going to go in a window. He's going to live inside a, a window, window display. And he's going to... Yeah, he's going to have his best life. You cannot put heads on babies, which is super sad. Oh, darn it. That would be cool, though, on a chicken. I like that. Oh, it would. I tried uh, capturing a jockey spider fella, and I... Yeah, I didn't didn't think that they could walk up walls it's and empty. he left yeah and then died in the sun it was that's quite so sad. sad that's really tragic i love your base here it's so good Ooh, this thank is you. epic i'm just i forgot any arrows so i'm grabbing some there we go listen scar um i need your skull <sighs> mm -hmm. you're gonna be able to break through this hard hat it's actually permanently fixed your head it does look pretty intense yeah yeah so what <laughs> what i'm thinking is i've been offering the hermits to pvp me for their skulls and with you i thought maybe we could do an even bow fight so no armor no enchants just regular old bows and arrows okay I, I'm, I'm down Are we, it's like uh what's the thing with the knights and the horses and the big sticks the uh jesting the gestering or whatever it's called yeah yeah that 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 yeah yeah yeah, yeah, um, yeah we shall we do, do it at That'd disney i feel like it would be really epic if we did it oh yeah like yeah, not yeah, at the chess go. monster oh wait 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 jeb 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 uh-huh uh-huh walk into that flower that flower bed over there okay oh my gosh what Scar! what i thought this was the happiest place on earth all right, Jem, you've asked for PvP. Yeah, yeah, so you're going to set your spawn right here just in case you get murdered. You know, it is PvP. And then you're okay. going to drop off all of your things into this. You, you can keep on your hat. Your hat's a, a pumpkin, right? It's a pumpkin? E well, it, it's permanently fixed to my head. It ah, has this curse okay. of unbreaking or Lovely. unbinding. Okay, or... We'll, we'll let you keep that then. That's okay. Okay. You can keep your cookies if you have any. I did try to repair my Hawkeye bow and it, uh, oh wait, wait, hold on. What, what, are we using normal bows? Because I started yeah. with a normal bow. So I'm going to give you that and that. Okay. This is a completely fair fight, right? Like you don't have any armor. I don't have any armor mm -hmm. where it's fair. So no Hawkeye bow. No, 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 no. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's bring light upon us and then we, then we fight. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Can, can we do some dodging and weaving? Can yeah, we yeah, yeah. Okay. Dodge, weave. Let's go. Let's go. Can let's we, go. Can we, uh, can we bring into play the the lamp post? Yeah, of course, of course. Proper oh, both. All right, all right, all right. I got, I get it. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Go. Dodge oh, first shot, miss. This is dodgeball practice for MCC. Oh, I've got him. I've hit <laughs> oh, him nice, once. Nice, nice. Oh, hit oh, him twice. Oh, this is it. This is it. Hot oh, oh, he's. Oh, you got one. You got one. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, yes! Nice, nice. <laughs> oh, man, my cookies went flying. Oh, skull. Get skull. I present you. I present you. Yes! The skull. Oh, it's <laughs> glorious. This is my prize. <laughs> it looks enormous. <laughs> Wait, why does it look like this? You don't look like this. It is absolutely enormous. Well, it was my uh, prototype uh, hat that I have on there. Oh. But then there's like this one pixel that looks like I have like a, a protruding tooth. 
It does. I think that's my hair. That's so weird. Oh, gosh. This is a little oh, that's cursed. Funny. Okay, well, you know what? To make it up for you, you can kill me with the Hawkeye bow if you want. Yay, Hawkeye! Okay, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let, let, me, let, me, do, let me do a swoop, a swoop. Here, okay, all right, I'm ready, I'm ready. Wait, how much armor do you have? Uh, Put on all of your best armor. Okay. It's gonna be embarrassing, isn't it? Oh, dear. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh! <laughs> Oh, uh, this. Oh wait, I think I picked up some weird stuff. That that is so much fun when you have the velocity behind you. Like almost no armor can can uh, withstand the Hawkeye bow. Yeah, that's insane. I mean, my I'm not gonna say that my armor is like the best. I don't have projectile protection, but like it's not bad. You, you got the purple stuff on your feet. Yeah, I got purple stuff. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 fun because sometimes people don't expect it you know yeah you've got me like that before I, i've experienced this oh me yeah you <laughs> i know i know <laughs> all right well thank you so much for your skull uh i'm gonna continue on my little adventure of murdering hermits now this has been lovely i do enjoy good murder so i hope i hope uh, i hope the skull will will suit your needs is it gonna go and say like a trophy room i am making a trophy room yeah 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 that's my whole episode scar great intro great intro we're making a trophy room everybody <laughs> that's what we're doing today <laughs> Well, that was certainly an adventure, and this area is so cool. All right, I'm waiting on Falls, and I've got no response from Hypno yet, which is A-OK -okay with me. I'm just going to head back to the base and drop off my scar head so I don't lose it to Falls. Whoa, Falls' base is even more incredible now. Oh my gosh. Not going to lie, very selfishly, half of the reason that I'm doing this is so that I can see these epic places. This is so awesome. Falls. Hello. Oh. I mean, you're already here, technically. From last time, remember? Ah, uh, you don't have to flex on me like that. Well, you know. I mean, it's been there since last time, so I literally haven't put it there now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, listen, I need, I need your okay. skull. Okay. You I know that it. the championship thing doesn't even have my skull. It has my tag. Hey, I tag. want your skull. That means it's a rare Ooh. skull. Yeah, I, I don't even have one myself. I don't need, I don't know anyone that has one actually. Okay, it might are, not even exist. Are you willing <laughs> to PvP me with wooden swords or bows, one or the other? Ooh, and what else? That that that's that's it. Oh, that's, that's it. Yeah, uh... one of these two. So it's an even match. We'll take off our armor again, just like last time. It'll be perfectly even. Unenchanted. You know what? I'm gonna let you pick. You can I pick. pick. You want me to pick? Yeah. Yeah, you pick. Well, we've already done swords, so why don't we try bows? Bow fight? Yeah, let's do it. Bow fight? Okay, hold on. I set up. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, I give nice you 32 way. arrows and a bow okay. and some food. Okay. And that's, that's that's what you should have. Yep, that's what I have. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> You're very tough. You're a tough opponent, well, Paul. I, have, I haven't bowed anyone for a, a, a quite a while, so okay. I might be rusty. I, I hope this goes well for me because I will have to be back a third time. You're not getting rid of me. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna right. stand over here. You stand over there. Um, you yep. can duck and weave whatever you want. And uh, yeah, there's not a lot of cover here. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not a lot of cover. That's okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I've got two shots already. <gasps> Hey! Oh wait, look what I've got. Wait, look what, what I've got. You are oh. so correct at this game. What the heck? Well, I mean, you know, I actually haven't practiced, so. Oh, but my, my base is looking uh, nice, though. It's, I've added to the collection. It's going to be a collection gem, it, just so you know. I'm, I'm meant to be collecting false heads here. Yeah, you don't you don't need it. Not yet. Not yet. Right, right. right. Will you do one more? One more with swords. <laughs> come here. Come here. Take that. Do you do you really want to risk it with <laughs> with swords? Okay. We can yeah. do that. I want to risk right. it with swords. I want to. Ready? It should be all right. Oh. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh. I think you might have me this time. I don't know about that. Oh, she crits. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Yeah! 
told you you'd have me. <laughs> oh. I was on one heart false. Oh, oh really? If I oh. didn't get that combo, you would have killed me very that, easily. That, that was a good combo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. You deserve oh, that. Oh <laughs> my goodness. This was the hardest earned one I've ever tried to get ever. False. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. you, you're the best PvPer on this whole entire server. It is an improvement, though. You look good. Thank you. Yeah, I do look yeah. good. You're well, right. Bon sushi. Bon sushi. I've got an arrow in my forehead, false. I've earned this victory. <laughs> it was, this was a very hard fought victory. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, home sweet home. Good, good. We've added two heads to our collection. In we go. So now we've got Cleo, Zed, Impulse, Jevin, Pearl, Ren, Scar, and False. It's not much, but it's a good start. I think it's actually a good enough start that maybe we should even start thinking about decorating this room. I mean, after all, my storage is starting to fill up. <laughs> this is actually, hold on. This is so impressive. Could we just take this in for a moment? This, this was just a casual little mob farm. <laughs> it's actually genuinely good. Gosh, I'm so proud. So before I start building the interior to my actual little head dungeon, I'm going to need some more supplies, I think, because I kind of drained them in my last building project. It's resource gathering time, everyone. Let's do it while the puppy is still sleeping. Hold on, I insert clip of puppy right here. So yeah, I have a new baby puppy and her name is Winnie and she's being so good. I'm genuinely shocked that she slept through all of that. But with her sleeping, it's time now to get onto the resource gathering. I first started off with some villager trading as I normally do, got quite a lot of new quartz and then I headed home to do some tree chopping and also some cobbled deep slate gathering down in the mines. Everything went well, even got some diamonds out of it and then I returned to the surface to do a little bit of shopping for some more of those beautiful cyan blocks. Right, I think I officially have all of these supplies together to build this very creepy headroom. Since it's been a little while, in case you've forgotten, we're building this because a viewer suggested that I should do a room that is in contrast to the sort of happy, peaceful vibes that we've got going on. So naturally, I started hunting hermits and creating a dungeon. That's what every normal person would do, right? So far in here, we've got this lovely little bridge right here that connects from our main entrance into the area where the mobs start to fall. And we've also got a start of a spiral staircase right here that leads us up to the other bridge, which is right here. And this bridge is gonna take us across into the main building. Oh, uh, oh, uh. <laughs> and now we're at the bottom. Safety rails to be installed soon. I think my next goal is going to be to take some of the spruce wood and sort of just continue my way downwards. I'm going to make a bunch of slabs. We just want to continue the spiral. So we do want to have sort of a flat floor right here where we can stop and observe all of the monsters coming down. Oh, some of them survived. That's okay. Okay, and I think right under this area right here is where we are going to start the next layer. So let's see if we can just spiral this down fairly nicely. These spiral staircases are a little tricky to get going sometimes, but I think once we've got a good pattern, it should be pretty doable. So far, so good. We've got this little spiral right here, which I think takes us down to a pretty good point. The problem now is we've reached the bottom of the birchwood. Oh, and there's a child. Hello, child. Sorry. Right, so far, I've just got a very weird spiral staircase, but admittedly, it is functional. It does bring us from this entrance floor right here down into the depths of what will be the dungeon. I just have to, well, work out all of the ugly. But that's okay, it has to be ugly before it's pretty. We all know this by now, it's fine. I feel like one of the things that I want to really make clear here is the transition from the light and pretty into the deep and dark. Hopefully, some of this deep slate will help with that. Step one, remove dirt. I'm trying to brainstorm how to transition this down into this more open space. I'm thinking something like this is kind of going to work. 
Admittedly, this interior is a little awkward because I've just discovered we have this, which is a really pretty view, especially at this time of day. But uh, doesn't really go with the dungeony vibe. So I'm thinking we're gonna use this to our advantage in this sort of quarter. The first transition layer is almost complete. I really like this sort of vibe. I just need to make it a little bit darker and creepier. And I'm thinking there's a couple of ways that we could do that. Okay, I love the skulk down here because not only are they gonna go off when I'm down here, but also anyone else and the mobs. So this is the first great step. And then next, we're gonna replace these torches because the darker, the creepier. And because fire tick is off in place of them, oh yes, I like that. We could do some very fun little torch designs like that. At the moment, the staircase sticks out a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add a couple of these supports along it, just to, I don't know, help the vibe. And with this finishing touch, I think this little entrance room with the stairwell is pretty much complete. I need to finish the glass, but just as a simple room where the mobs fall down, this is definitely pretty extra for that. For the next stage, we're gonna be getting into some finer details. So I've collected up some more detail blocks and I'm also thinking perhaps this disc in a jukebox could be perfect for setting the mood. So as you can see, this area is looking great where the mobs fall and then we have this sort of transition room down here and it brings us into our collection area for the mobs and the area where we are actually going to be displaying the heads. And there's quite a few details that I want in this dungeon but one of the obvious ones is definitely some actual like dungeon spaces. So that's sort of what I've marked out right here. Yep. That's definitely the vibe. Right, let's get to work and finish the rest of this up. I feel like for somebody who normally really nails the cottagecore look, I've absolutely perfected this dungeon. Come here, come here, look at this. We've got a creepy cage, we've got creepy dungeon cells, a creepy fireplace, creepy saw blades, smart people blood for now. <laughs> and over here, the actual collection room with a shrieker in the middle to add to the ambiance. And we'll end up putting all of the hermit heads along here on these shelves. Now I am going to be fairly picky about how these actually get displayed. So let's start off with maybe some armor stands to just see how this looks. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool. What I think I'll do is I'll use the statues mod that we have to make the actual armor stand invisible and then I'll position them along these shelves properly. But first let's actually collect them all and then we can get into the specifics. Yeah, this is pretty unsettling. <laughs> I like it. Now, as for the armor stands that are in here, we have some other heads that aren't related to the hermits that I think I'd like to display. Like for example, maybe in the cage, we could put the elder guardian because that was a big thing that we did. Maybe like the ender dragon head. I don't know, we've just got, we've got a bunch of heads. We could use them in here to kind of add to the effect. I also haven't really touched the collection area. So I'm gonna try to fiddle with that now and see if I can get something that I like. I feel like I really underutilized chains. So let's get some of those crafted up as well. Then I just want this to look really sort of rickety and old. So hopefully the trap doors will kind of add to that effect. Okay, and with the chains in, honestly, that's pretty cool. Now all I have to do is come in here and oh, we need that one. And we're just gonna want a little staircase right here. Wait, this might actually be perfect. So now from this room right here, this is where the mobs actually fall. We head down here, we can collect the drops and then we're on this little like rickety area here. And then we can come over here this way, past the creepy music, down into this headroom. Oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's really just been nice to sort of get out of the rhythm for a little bit of the elven style. So when you're building in a style for so many months, it can be really refreshing to just sort of break it up a little bit and do something a little bit different. Uh, that's definitely spawnable up there. So let's grab a little lantern. 
Is it creepy to have just like random floating chains? I'm hoping that that's creepy. Right, I think I can happily call this room complete. Obviously, we've got to add the heads, but uh, for a collection zone, it's looking really good, especially since it's actually functional as well. And speaking of, there's one more thing I wanna add in here, which I think all of you suggested, which is these soul fire camps. So basically those zombies that were here before that couldn't despawn should be able to now. And I think I lost my glass. Yeah, there it is. There we go. It also looks really epic, so that's that's good. <laughs> and with that, I believe that is our first full interior complete. So all of this dome right here has a full interior. That is so awesome. The next thing we need to do is really focus on finishing the exterior. Why don't we take a second and clear out a little bit more area back here so that I could get to work more so on the back of this building now that we've done some interior. It's Impulse. Oh, let's go see my friends. I've missed them. <gasps> There's Pearl. Look at her go. Save group. Save group assembly. Save, save, save group. group. There save, you are. Save group. Oh, together. Hello. Arrived Hi. at the exact same time. Hi. That's oh, it's good do. to see you two again. I feel it's been ages since we've hung out. Yeah. Yeah. Missed look, you. I have everything to celebrate our reunion. Oh, Zoom. very nice. Is this going to make Zoom. me blind? Yes, probably. Uh, yes, oh, it was, of course. The opposite. Uh, you gotta learn to make a different kind of soup, Pearl. <laughs> I have no vision on that one. What are you talking Me about? Too. I do pretty good. <laughs> What's up, Impulse? Oh. Well, I need your help, okay? So something happened with Grumbod and the content generator, and it's kind of a heavy task, and I don't think I can do it alone. So basically what happened was it told me to remove King Claim, and uh, I interpreted that oh. as remove the king's claim to the throne whoa <laughs> like kind of, of kind of a big deal right <laughs> i think if we're discussing something like this we shouldn't do it out in the open that's going to be exposed right now this is a serious topic impulse like, come on All guys right. let's go this way come on up here oh, okay or field trip wow <laughs> where are we going pearl we're going this way we're going in my mushroom I okay. got a good place for this. Uh, it Is wasn't this intended to be a suits? meeting room. Oh, wow! Ignore the doorbell. It's fine. That's so loud. What kind of doorbell? It's supposed to be. Okay, alerts me that anyone's breaking into my base. You're See? so weird. Oh, oh, okay. alarm system. Okay, so we definitely will know that we're alone then. This is I'll cool. Try to, I'll try to you, sit You keep still. explaining. I'll just. Yeah, yeah. The so why, don't why don't we like the king? Why, why not? The king's doing stuff. He took my shops. He the claimed shops. all my shops, Jim. All yeah. of them? He claimed yeah, yeah, yeah. mine too. So he's taking your diamonds? Uh, yeah. I mean, well, the he first thing yet, he did was but... make us throw our diamonds in the pit, so he took them straight away. But then he took my shops, and my shops weren't making much diamonds anyway because everyone's broke now. Oh. So, so far, I'm not really digging his rule. Right. I just broke his sign. Did you not break his sign, Impulse? I didn't. You just broke the. Wait, after just, he claimed. You just, you just. You just break it. It's just, just a sign. Just take it back. You guys are rebels. Take it back. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Well, I'm not much of a fighter, okay? I'm not I'm not good at PvP I and am. stuff. <laughs> so I was I was thinking maybe we go more of a psychological route and we just kind of we get him to quit by annoying him. You know, like we just do a bunch of little pranks on him just to just to think like, oh, it's not worth being king anymore. I quit. You know? That's I like kind of being I annoying. Thinking. I can do annoying. I'm annoying. <laughs> you can do annoying. Jem, you're looking at me him. like I'm crazy. You are crazy. You you want to dethrone a king. I mean, I'm <laughs> in, but like, he's, you he's, are crazy. He's terrible though, Jem. He's taking all the diamonds. I can't get any customers because everyone's broke. Right. Plus so, he's building things in front of my portal and claiming everything I built. You're all saying right. I shouldn't be doing a quest for the king right now. I should stop that. No, do quests. Because if you do quests, then you make him a little bit more broke than he was yesterday. Right. Okay. That's true. Okay. What's, what's the next step? Um, I don't know. We need to come up with something that's really going to leave a mark and just be mm. super annoying and really get under his skin. So mm. I haven't really thought that far, but I figured out the three of us together, we could probably come up with something good, couldn't we? Yeah, let's brainstorm. We'll, th we'll think of something. Let's just put our brains together for a moment. Everybody thinking noises. Who's thinking. Thinking. Hmm. And I'm thinking. Hmm. And I'm thinking. Hmm. I like soup. 
It appears I may have been pulled into a resistance of sorts. Now with that, I think that's where I'm gonna end it. Next episode, we'll get further to work on the exterior and interior of the space and also see what Pearl and Impulse have in mind for our resistance. I mean, not that I really mind the king, but I'll do anything for the supergroup, so you know, it's all good. Thank you all so much for watching this episode and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye everyone.